No matter how much you'd like Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, and I love him, you can't ignore what has happened to Manchester United since he was named permanent manager. A run of two wins in 12 games since that win over PSG in Paris is a truly horrendous run of form. And it's led to some concerns from fans over Solskjaer being United manager. And what I want to do in this video is discuss those concerns, some which I think are fair, and then give my own opinion as to whether I feel Solskjaer is the right man to rebuild United. And that's exactly what has to happen this summer. Before we get into this video, if you are new to United People's TV, make sure you go down there, hit that subscribe button, hit the notifications bell, make sure you get a little message every time a video comes out. And if you are a regular, drop a like on the video. But let's get straight into it. There's nowhere else to start, really, other than looking at United's horrendous run of form since PSG. As I said, two wins in 12 games, drawing to relegated Huddersfield, losing to relegated Cardiff 2-0 on our last home game of the season. And inside that, there's only been two wins, which are scrappy wins over West Ham and Watford, amid some humblings and humiliations to City and Barca. It really has left United fans despondent with the club. And for me personally, I've never felt more disconnected with the United squad than I do now. I genuinely would not care if 95% of those players didn't turn up next season, just didn't play for United at all. That is how disconnected I feel. And that's a, a frustration that a lot of fans are feeling towards this United squad. And that is why United's rebuild job is so big. You know, the squad is the core of the problem. It's not the root of the problem. That goes further above at the club. But it's the core of the issue that has created this disconnect between the fans and the club. Because so many of these players, you just don't want playing for your club anymore because you know they don't give a toss. And it's made such a jarring disconnect. Never has United felt so disunited from the roots to the absolute tip of the tree. And as much as United fans are aware of the problems of the club and how the club is run and the squad as well, there are some fair concerns over Solskjaer being United's manager. To have that run of form that Solskjaer did when he came in in those three months was nothing short of sensational. He came in and with great man management got a set of United players who simply weren't performing under Mourinho to excel, to shine. Pogba, one of Europe's most informed players at that time. Rashford, banging in goals left, right and centre. So many of these players just went shooting up a level and that was because of the great man management of Solskjaer at that time, the complete opposite sort of manager to Mourinho and it's what the players needed. But when the chips have been down and the results have turned from wins to losses, what has happened then? Solskjaer hasn't been able to motivate these players. Players that were so motivated before now simply aren't doing it anymore for Solskjaer. They can't play his intense style and maybe that's down to the fitness. But the man management that was working previously now wasn't and isn't working for Solskjaer with these players. And he hasn't been able to show a different style of management to get a response from his players. And that is a concern that a lot of fans have. And I think that's a fair concern because as much as you're going to give him praise for that first three months, you've got to criticise for the two months that have followed. And United's utter lack of response to humiliation after humiliation, that's certainly, the players are certainly at fault for that, but you can't ignore the fact that the manager is the man at the top of the tree. So you have to criticise him as well there. And that is a real concern of mine. And the fact that United still seem so far away from refining their identity on the pitch, and that's after four or five months of Solskjaer being in charge, it's another reason just to be a little bit concerned. You know, if you're not concerned as a United fan, we've won only two in our last 12 games, then I'll be very surprised. Absolutely. And there are definitely reasons to be concerned about Solskjaer, but it doesn't mean that I don't think he is the right man to take United forward. We could have gone all out to try and sign Mauricio Pochettino, but we didn't. And he is a sensational manager and the good work he's doing at Spurs is not a surprise to see them in the Champions League final. He's a fantastic manager with very little resources there at Spurs as well. But we didn't. We chose to go for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. We made our bed. And any calls for United to look elsewhere for a new manager, for me right now, is frankly ridiculous. Solskjaer is the right man to be in charge of this club 
during this rebuild. And as far as I'm concerned, that's exactly what Solskjaer's job is now. Rebuild this club. I do not think that United will win the Premier League with Solskjaer in charge. I put money on it. But that's not his job. We're so far away from Liverpool and City that I don't think Solskjaer will have the time to rebuild this squad, which will take two, three, four years. That's how bad it is. You can't do it in one window. You'd struggle to probably do it in two windows. That's how far away this United squad is from competing with Liverpool and City. And imagine how much further along they're going to be in the next three, four years. So for Solskjaer to rebuild, get United into a position to challenge and then challenge, I don't think he'll be in the job long enough to do that. So I think Solskjaer's job at United is to rebuild this squad properly. And I think he is the right man to do it. And leave the squad and the club in a condition that whoever comes in next can compete with Liverpool and City. Because we're so far away from it that I think it's impossible for Solskjaer to properly rebuild and then go after City and Liverpool. I think it's too far ahead. But what Solskjaer can do, as I said, is rebuild this squad. There are so many players with negative energy in that dressing room. Solskjaer has to get rid of all of them. No need to name names. You know them all. I know them all. But there's a lot of them. I think Ander Herrera and Antonio Valencia leave in. Hopefully being replaced by better players in those positions. Maya Ryan Fellaini being sold as well in January. It started. Not all of them are negative energy, but they're players who United can do better than in those positions. Certainly Antonio Valencia. That is an absolute given. But it will take a couple of years for Solskjaer to do it properly. But I think he's going to bring in the right players. He's going to bring the right energy back into that dressing room. He's going to bring the fitness of these players up because it absolutely needs to happen as well. The players are lazy and comfortable at United. That needs to change. But I think he's the right man to rebuild United's squad in that sense. That being said, there is one major concern I do have over Solskjaer. What I need to see from Solskjaer this summer is that he isn't just a United cliche. Because he talks a good game. But we need to see the ruthlessness that Solskjaer has been talking about. That he said he's going to be ruthless. He needs to follow up on that this summer. Get rid of the players that are creating that negative energy. Cull them. Bring in the right players. Properly deliver on what you have said. Because if Solskjaer doesn't, he'll be nothing more than a yes man that has fed United fans what they wanted to hear but failed to deliver on actioning those promises. And I hope that doesn't happen. But for me to truly believe that Solskjaer is the right man, I need to see that. And I think it's fair for some fans to feel that he is just a walking cliche at the moment. Taking players to the cliff before the City game, talking about the heritage, X, Y, Z. He's got all of that in the locker. But at the moment, that's all he's really got. A squad's not good enough, that needs to be changed completely. But Solskjaer will always be in the good graces of United fans because he was a fantastic player at the club, a genuine modern-day legend of United. But for me to truly believe that he is the right man going forward, I need to see him being ruthless like he said he would be this summer. Because if he doesn't, he's already broken the promise that he's given to United fans. And I don't then think he'd be able to rebuild this club properly. Solskjaer has to prove himself this summer just as much as any United player has to in pre-season, just as any new signing will have to as well. But what's your overriding feeling about Solskjaer? Do you think he is the right man to take United forward? Are there concerns that you have over him as United manager? We've got a big summer coming up. Couple of months. Who's going to go? Who's going to be brought in? We're going to cover all of that and look at it in a little bit more detail on Wednesday in terms of Solskjaer's new signings. But I want to know from you, your feelings towards Solskjaer. Now the season is done and over, do you think he is the right man to take United forward? And if not, let me know in the comments exactly why you think that is the case. If you are new to United People's TV, make sure you go down there and subscribe. Until next time, take it easy.